Hi readers, I'm Annie. Let's get straight into this vlog. So I feel like I've been reading loads lately, honestly. I've literally just been like storming through books. It's taken me like two days to finish one and then I'm just like on to the next thing. I really wanted to challenge myself just to see sort of how consistent I am really with my reading because as much as I've been reading a lot, I don't feel like I'm particularly consistent. And I'm trying at the moment to try and build up a few habits to just kind of stabilize life. And I feel like reading consistently would be a really good one to try and help me so that I don't feel like I have to like binge and then like don't read anything the next day and whatnot so I thought I would challenge myself to read 100 pages in a day I'm kind of in two minds about this part of me is like oh it's only 100 pages that's like not that much I can totally do that it's like an hour and a half two hours of reading at my kind of sort of like usual leisurely pace but then part of me is like am I going to be able to actually allocate two hours a day I'm not convinced and I'll be completely honest with you I've started this vlog three times over the last three days I have failed all three days on the first day to reach the hundred this is the last time I'm starting this vlog so what I'm gonna do is if I don't hit the hundred page goal each day what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it on to the next day so if I only read 50 pages on day one day two will be 150 but then if I don't read 150 that day and I only read 100 then it will be 150 the next day do you see what I'm saying it's gonna be a little bit of math which is never my strong suit but we're gonna roll with it so we're starting with done and dusted by lila sage i did actually start this yesterday it's a little cowboy romance she is a rodeo star i don't know what element of rodeo to be completely honest but it seems kind of cute i'm currently on chapter four which is page 25 of 332 so i need to get to page 125 normally when i do these kind of videos i will take a week off of work and i will coordinate everything to suit the video we're not doing that i'm still working my usual corporate nine to five we're just gonna see how my reading fits around my daily life i feel like today has really flown by i'm on page 126 of 332 so i have already completed my 100 pages for today like i said like this was always going to be this it was either going to be super duper easy or really really hard on certain days and today was an easy day which i'm really happy about my kindle the text is literally the smallest it will go it's like maximum text on the page so as i realized as i was flicking because i turned the little bottom thing the little tracker that i normally have set to time left in book i turned that to page number and actually i'm kind of liking it so i might keep it as page number but that was like going up in twos most of the time and i think that's because of that i have like maximum content on page it actually really didn't feel like i was really reading for too long honestly so that was really great so i'm currently at 38 percent of the way in with done and dusted i'm really really loving it it's so super cute this is of like particular interest to me because i am horse girly i've had horses like my whole life ridden pretty much my whole life so with emmy being I found out she's a barrel racer uh, but she had a bad accident with a horse and took an injury and has been like nervous to get back on and she's like just starting to like work through that as someone who has fallen off horses way more times than I can count I'm like yeah okay like I get it like I have never had that same sort of reaction of just like being nervous to actually get back on and being like genuinely fearful but I also have like towed the line where I'm like I know that if I don't get straight back on then I will be fearful it's it's a really fine line if you know you know if you don't it's a really difficult thing to try and explain yeah today's like flown by i got all my reading done i'm probably going to continue it this evening i've got book edits with my best friend so we're going to go through some book edits for book two which is the vipers and crowns so we're going to work through that a little bit tonight and then honestly i'm probably going to spend the rest of the night reading because i'm really loving this book i'm really obsessed it's so super cute it's like right up my street so i'm definitely going to be continuing reading this <laughs> it is wednesday morning what even happened yesterday i feel like again yesterday went by so fast but i am working from home for the rest of the week which i really enjoy working from home i like being in my space and being able to do what i need to do with my space to make it like perfect for me where did we get to so i'm currently on page 259 of 332 so not only are we definitely going to finish this today i did read a little bit extra yesterday again i'm just like really really loving this this is such an amazing book i'm yet to 
to feel like fully obsessed and like fully fully connected with the characters so i say it's on track for a four star but we're 77 percent in so we still do have a way to go at this precise moment in time i'm not entirely sure what i want to pick up next i'm just kind of leaving it a little bit open see how we feel later today so i don't know if i'm gonna pick up another kindle read or if we are gonna go over to the physical tbr obviously there are a load that i want to read on this tbr i just don't know which one i want to start <laughs> my hair is not cooperating but at the very least we are going to finish this today and that's going to leave me with roughly 20 30 pages roughly to start a new one we'll at least get a couple of chapters into a new one and i'll see you guys when i uh decide what i'm reading because i don't know yet <laughs> I was about 15 pages short of where I really needed to be. This morning, however, I've already caught up, so I'm not like too worried. And it's like just past 8.30, honestly, so I'm not like too worried. So need to get to page 130 today. If I get to page 134, then I will be at chapter 15, which is like roughly a third of the way through. Already, I am like fully obsessed with this. It is so funny. I am like giggling, screaming, kicking, laughing, like all of the above. This book is hilarious. Mel is so sarcastic and it's literally perfect. She's just checked into the Airbnb that Evan and Lucy run and I don't quite know who Lucy is. I have a feeling Lucy is probably his sister because I'm like, they can't like be together. It's just like not allowed. And um, plus I kind of like Lucy and that's like not allowed. <laughs> I'm like manifesting that Lucy is his sister because she's really cool, she's really sweet. So Mel has stayed the first night and like instantly Evan is like trying to get under her skin. It's just like, it's that perfect like enemies to lovers dynamic, but it's also like the instant enemies where they're like, I don't know why I hate you. I just have this feeling in my bones. I am like screaming, honestly. This has like my most favorite thing in the world. Okay, well, but it's like flipped. My most favorite thing ever in books is when something goes wrong and a guy's like, she's my wife and like gets through security. Mel's just done that exact thing, but said that he's her fiance. And if I'm not screaming, I can't even words right now. That's how much I'm like living.
guys a tragedy has struck and there is a daddy long legs in my room and i swear to you this is like the biggest daddy long legs i think i've ever seen in my entire life i am horrendously phobic of spiders so i can do nothing with it so i have shut the door i have vacated my stuff and i have shut the door so we are now relegated to downstairs today the buddies are fighting everything is going wrong today it feels like it's a friday like anything was gonna be easy today let's talk about some good news the catch i'm over halfway oh my god i was eating this up yesterday i swear i just like did not want to stop reading i'm on page 229 yeah i did stop in the middle of a chapter i swear i always stop in the middle of a chapter and it's just kind of like a thing i'm not gonna give spoilers but i am really really loving this this is so cute and cozy and it's like it's giving me everything that I want from it. And like, of course it was going to. I've loved all of Amy Lee's books. I feel like she always does a really good job. I've loved the other ones. Like, I didn't really have any hesitation going into this one. I kind of knew I was going to love it. So I'm not surprised in the slightest. It's a really interesting setting, I think, because it's so different to the other girls. I reckon I could probably finish this today, actually. Because I'm on, what, I'm on page 229. 180-ish pages. So it's definitely, like way more than i meant to be reading but i reckon i could do it considering i basically read whatever 15 less than 228 pages is that's like nearly 200 pages i just realized i put my tea in this mug which is not my mug so apparently i'm dad today Guys, I swear I literally can't count. This is 379 pages. I just finished it. I've got no idea how many pages I've read today. Maths is like not happening right now. This is so good. I mean, I kind of knew I was gonna love it from the start. I think because the beginning bit was a little bit slow and I just like didn't feel super connected to the characters. I guess if I was being like super picky about it, but I did really love it. It's so great. I think because it's so different to other books and like its setting and the focus and this that and the other and it's like I really really loved it for that I'm just like smiling permanently now because like the ending of this is so adorable I'm obsessed I love it. it maybe I am obsessed with it I'm gonna sit on my rating for this for a minute because I'm not like can't breathe obsessed but like I am pretty obsessed with it so I don't know I feel like it's kind of like a 4.5 star which I don't really do half star ratings so I'm kind of not really sure how I feel about it at the moment in terms of like a solid rating so I'm gonna sit on that for a minute this is so good like this is so good if you pick up one book from this video let it be this one this is so freaking good I said that I was probably gonna get another book at least started this video so I'm definitely gonna be starting When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker I just really feel like I need a fantasy at the moment. I've been reading like a lot of romance so need a little bit of fantasy in there and it apparently has got like a whole load of tropes of like all like the typical popular books have so it's like a little bit of Akatar, a little bit of Fourth Wing, all that kind of vibe and I'm like that sounds great because I've kind of been craving a Fourth Wing reread recently. I kind of want to save that reread until December because the new one comes out in January so I'm like I kind of want to save Fourth Wing and Iron Flame for December so I feel like When the Moon Has just like the perfect interim replacement <laughs> it is so sticky and muggy today honestly i don't even know how we're like nearly at lunchtime but it is like so warm today the gray clouds have just rolled in and there is a bit of a breeze picking up so i'm hoping it's gonna start to cool down once we get some rain but yesterday i finished the catch by amy lee and i really really loved it and after sleeping on it i feel like i am gonna rate that one five stars there were so many bits in it that i really really loved and even though i didn't feel like a super direct intense connection to the characters there was just like so many other things that i really really enjoyed that i just couldn't rate it four stars it was like awkwardly in between but i felt like there was too much that i really loved and was really obsessed about to rate it four stars so it was kind of that awkward in between today we are starting when the moon hatched by sarah a parker everyone has been going nuts about this book i feel like i'm missing out a little bit it's been on my tbr for a little while and i just have not got there as i said yesterday where i've been like feeling like a little bit of fourth ring reread 
I just feel like this is going to be absolutely perfect. I haven't started it at all. When the Kindle wakes up, okay, so we're at page one, 566 pages. So I'm not going to, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to finish it this weekend. Unless it's like actually insane, I'm probably not going to finish it this weekend because I have actually an absolute ton of things that I have to do this weekend. So we need to get to page 100 before the end of today, which I think is perfectly reasonable. As I've said literally every other day, and I'm actually kind of surprised that thus far I've only failed one day and it was only by about 30 pages which I think is pretty good. Take a guess on who did absolutely zero reading yesterday. If you guessed me you would be 100% correct. I literally got so caught up in just like all my other jobs that I had to do yesterday that I just didn't even get to read anything. I think I literally read like a page and a half so as far as I'm concerned it just like doesn't count. This morning I've read up to page 74 for When the Moon Hatched. This is a really interesting book thus far. I feel like I'm going to love it. There is so much world building so far. Like this <laughs> is very world building heavy thus far. Even though it's setting us up for this like big epic fantasy, I know that there is going to be a romance plot line. So I'm like, okay, I still have like something to like really root for, which is why I read so much romance because like I just love rooting for two characters that get together. But this is like giving the same kind of vibes as I think when I kind of first read Throne of Glass and Akatar and, and books like that just like where you can tell like it's so in depth and it's world building and it's like so detailed and there's so much going on and you've got all these like specific gods that have been created and there's just like so much lore that like really we've only like scratched the surface thus far like I'm only on page 70 whatever I know that there's like still so much to explore in this world and I'm really really excited for that so I am like genuinely really enjoying it I need to get up to page 200 today so that kind of only leaves me with 100 and a little bit. Maths is not working for me this morning, okay? Be patient. Maths is rarely working for me, but this morning especially, okay? It's a lazy Sunday. It's allowed to not be happening today. So honestly, I just fully intend to just like do a few bits and pieces. Today's just gonna be like a super chill day. Read as much as I can of this. Watch the Formula One. Do a few little bits and pieces, but honestly, like today is a full chill day. So I'm fully expecting to get this read. I mean, I've read 74 pages this morning in like an hour and a half. I can see what people are saying where it's like kind I've got that little bit of like fourth wing vibes but honestly like much past there being dragons it doesn't have the same kind of vibes it's, she's like a little bit like Selena from Throne of Glass in the sense that like she's an assassin and like secretly has loads of money but like lives like she doesn't and just like doesn't want to get like too attached to people so if you really like her character from Throne of Glass like you will like our main girly rave <laughs> So I got to page 200 this morning. I only got to page 170 last night, but honestly, I was reading until super late because I was just having a chill day and I got totally lost playing The Sims. So I had a really nice day yesterday. I only got to page 170, but 170 pages of a very dense, intense, world building heavy fantasy book, I would say is still pretty good progress. So I'm gonna count this as a win. I'm gonna count this whole thing as a success. I'm really proud of myself for being able to do this. This. this was so much fun. Also, I am totally obsessed with When the Moon Hatched. Like, honestly, why did I sleep on this book? I don't know. Well, I know because it's like really intense, heavy world building. Like, it's it's a lot to be wrapping your brain around. Like, there's so much going on. I'm loving it. I'm really, really loving it. So I'm definitely gonna like keep reading. So uh, thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me. This has been so much fun. Let me know if you guys like these like little more like chill, like back style of vlogs, or do you like the like really heavy reading style vlogs? Like, let me know because I do have plans to do a lot more vlogs in the future, and next year is gonna be crazy full of vlogs. So let me know. But thank you so much for coming to hang out. All of my links are in the description below as well as links to my own book but I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.